This is Aaron Trader. It is Sunday night. Now the future is open here at 6 o'clock. That was about 20 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell any stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil daily chart, natural gas daily chart. Remember, a contract roll for natural gas here should start today. I believe, yes, it should be here today. Now, uh, let's just take a look here at crude first. Okay, so we have the old crude ski going on here. And what do we had Friday? We had a big ass red candle, went right up into 200 day, and it came right on down. Now, I always point out this 8 SMA here. I said it will be lower. Now you cross the 21 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, and now the 200 day, and now she's coming flying on down. That is not good. That price has to get back above that key eight simple moving average here for it to go higher. So let's look at the downside here first, okay? So let me just big this back up again. Okay, so what are today's low here? Uh, let me see. We had uh, 77, uh, 17 here. So what we're looking for, and we look to the bottom of here, of uh, this candle, you're looking at 76.98. That's your next support level here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right here. You're looking at 76.40. We'll come to Friday's low at 76.19. And then we have your big retest there at 76.04. That would be the retest. Now, again, if that 76.04 is lost, then what we do is we just come right here to the bottom of this candle. You're looking here at 75.23. We'll come to the top here. You're looking at 74.33. Uh, we'll look at the bottom here, uh, 74.06. Then we'll come over here. You're looking at 73.98. Then we look at the bottom, 72.82. And then your final support going on here on this pattern is going to be 72.48. Uh, uh, now, again, I always like to show you where it can go, but right now, you look at here at that 76 so far, that's the key key level here, okay? So here's what we're looking at. Uh, this price channel here was coming on the way down. Now you can see how the price channel flattened out, okay? This is why you want to use these blue lines are just price channels. Now, I told you many a times you can use Bollinger Bands and Clouds, and there's a lot of other indicators here. This works the best simply because look at here, okay? Bottom of the candle, price channel. Top of the candle, price channel. Just simple, okay? Keep your trading simple. The, the more simple you keep it, the more money you're going to make here instead of all those complicated things. Believe me, I used everything in imaginable here. I've been trading for over two decades. Okay, just keep things simple, and that there will make you money. Okay, so let's look at the upside. So what do we have here today? Okay, you got 77.51. Okay, so what we're looking at, that's going to be probably right around this area here, 77.55. That is your resistance zone, okay? Now, right above that, we have... Uh, uh, 7819, and we'll come up here. You got uh, 7847, and we have Friday's high at 7860. But realistically, here the 7857, which lines up pretty nice with Friday's high, that's the key if you can get above this 8 SMA here. This 8 SMA is going to be absolutely crucial. You have to get the price above and close above for this to go higher. Okay. Now, again, if you can, then we'll come right to the top of this candle. You're looking at 79.13, and then you're looking at 79.43. That is your 50-day. Okay. Above that, we look to the bottom here. You're looking at 80.22. We have uh, 80.45, and then we can come all the way here to this uh, old hondo here. You're looking at 80.64, and the right above it is 80.82. Now, again, it has to get above that 8 SMA. This is what happens. I point this out about a million times. That when that price gets below it, this is what happens, and it just wants to go lower, okay? So right now, you don't have much movement in the crude, the crude you're just spinning right sideways, and we have an inside day, which basically your high and low is inside of Friday's high, uh, low. So basically here, this is what you want to watch. Two very, very key levels here with Monday for, for trading, okay? It's going to be this 8 SMA. 7810 on the upside, and it's going to be that 7604 on the downside. Okay, so we want to keep trading this range until we can crack above that 8 SMA. Then, once we do, then we can start raising this thing and going higher, just like we had here. Okay, so this is what we had we had an inverse head and shoulders pattern. There's your left shoulder, there's your head, there's your right shoulder. Now, you notice here, and we went all the way down, just like they are here, as that 8 day was falling. Once we got above it, then look how nice this rallied right on up here until we got that double top situation. So always look for patterns within the charts. Okay, this inverse head and shoulders right here. See this double top situation? Very, very clear, just like this double top situation going on right there. So when you see that, okay, you got to either, if you're just a long trader, sell your position and just wait to buy it again. Or if you're like I am, both directions, then you just short this bad boy because now you've had that series of lower highs and lower lows and look where she all came. 
okay? And there was a lot of signals that were telling that. This here, when you have that MACD that crosses, that green crosses below that two, uh, that uh, red, that tells you that's a sell signal. When this uh, eight day crosses over that 21, that's the kiss of death, that's a sell signal. So right now we just have sideways action. Let's just see how this all shakes out. So bottom line, watch 78.10 on the upside, 76.04 on the, other, on the bottom side. We will trade this range until she breaks one way or the other. Okay, Natty Gas, look at here. Now, this was obviously a sell signal. See where that green goes below the red? Nice sell signal. Look at here, all the way down. Cross that 21 day, boom. That's what I'm talking about, all the way down. Now, you are in oversold territory here. Now, if you watch my videos, and I know you did, this is what I've been pointing out right here. Okay, see this low? We have a low, we have a lower low, and then we have a higher low. See this positive divergence? It's the same as here, this is negative divergence. Where you have a high, okay, you got a high, and then we have an even higher high, but you had a lower high. Negative divergence right here, positive divergence. So watch my video last week, I said, let's watch out for this positive divergence. Now let's just see if it holds, and we could take this bad boy up higher. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Now, on the upside, this is what we're going to be watching. Very, very key level is going to be this 2.109. Okay, that is your eight simple moving average. If we get above that, then we're going to look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 2.15, the top of there, 2.17. And then we have the Ohondo here at 2.20. Okay, that's going to be very, very critical. If we can get above all that, we have your 21 day at 2.24. And then we can come right up on top of these candles here. 2.26 and 2.27, that is your next target area. Then we can just rally up here, what do we have? 2.35 going right across very, very nicely. And then we can have your, your uh, 2.40, your 200 day and above that 2.54. So let's just keep watching this positive divergence here. Watch this oversold condition and watch this eight simple moving average there for Monday, okay? So now if, you can get above that 8 SMA right here. Then we know your big target is going to be right there, that 220. All right, above that, you got 224. Those are your big targets. And then if you go above that, your 200 day is your other big target. Follow the tops of the candles, but these uh, simple moving averages, those are your big targets on the upside. Now, let's take a look at the downside here. Always got to look at the downside. So, what you're really watching is you're going to be watching to the bottom of uh, today's candle here was 2.05. And what we have here, you have uh, 2.03 next. And then we'll come over here. This is 2.02. And then basically this 2.01. But this is the candle here, Friday's low, 1.99. That's what you're watching on the downside. Okay. So upside, this is your key level, 2.10. Downside, 1.99. You lose that 1.99. You're going right here, 1.97, 1.95, 1.92, and then your gap at 1.90. Just that simple, okay? So very, very easy trade going on here, okay? So you want to trade this range. You get above that 8 SMA here. You take yourself along until you hit that 100 SMA here. You keep that long going. Maybe we hit that 21 SMA here. If you can't get through that 8 SMA and it starts coming on down here, just watch Friday's low, 1.99. If that is lost here, your big target is 1.90, okay? Very, very simple. Now, let's just see if this positive divergence plays out here, okay? So that's what we wanna watch, okay? We were talking about this end of last week. This is what we wanna watch here, and we got the positive divergence going on here, and we have the oversold condition here on your MACD, okay? All we have to do it's crack that eight, eight day, and then we can go to that hondo, and then we can go here to your 21 day. Above that, your big target, your 200 day, and then your 50 day. Downside, just watch that 1.99. Very, very critical. If that's lost, we can follow this, but watch that 1.90. That is your target. Okay, that's what I got for you on your crude ski and that guess. I'll be back here tomorrow morning before 8 o'clock, and we will do it all over again. Thanks for watching.